welcome dear friends again to my YouTube channel Your Technical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Today I will be discussing with you all about, rather to say telling you all about soil subsidence, land subsidence, difference between settlement and subsidence. It's actually a part of very major important part of your technical engineering. This is my lecture 67 when I am Anurag Kapoor here speaking. Actually I have decided to cover this topic in the wake of what is happening in Joshimat Uttarakhand? Subsidence. Subsidence is a general term for downward vertical movement of the earth's surface, which can be caused by both natural processes and human activities. What is land subsidence? Land subsidence is a gradual settling or sudden sinking of the earth's surface owing to subsurface movement of earth materials. And earth materials can be anything water, the constituent of the earth, etc, etc and so on. What are the causes of subsidence? The principal causes of soil subsidence may be aquifer system compaction, drainage of organic soils, underground mining, hydro compaction, natural compaction, sinkholes, fine permafrost, etc. And one or two other causes may be excessive dewatering. अगर आप excessive dewatering करते हैं तो भी land subsidence होता है ऐसे कई case examples हैं जो में भी हम किसी अपने future lecture में I can discuss with you all and if you refer to Joshimat case it is excessive water flow because of the Dhali Ganga Riva Alag Nanda Riva and as well as as far as I know there is a known case of aquifer puncture also there because of which true erosion has taken place and that is why subsidence in the, in the holy town of Joshimat. Now, signs of subsidence. Cracks can be found on interior and exterior brick walls. Cracks spread diagonally across the wall, which I have already shown with the help of few images in my previous video on Joshimat, the sinking town of Uttarakhand. Cracks are present where? An extension joins the house, that is the junction of the walls. Cracks are 3 mm wide and thicker usually. Cracks are wider at the top than the bottom. Cracks are found close to windows and doors which have also been depicted with the help of few images in my last lecture on Joshimat. Now, do subsidence cracks appear suddenly? Yes, subsidence cracks usually appear quite suddenly rather than slowly over time and lintel failure may need to be ruled out first as these types of cracks look similar jo ki hamara differential settlement ke case mein bhi kabhi kabhi hota hai angular distortion of buildings ke case mein. now what are the effects of soil subsidence ground subsidence can affect the stability of pipelines drains and well casings it can also cause the formation of ponds and cracks in the ground and if the site is close to a populated area can lead to instability of buildings land soil subsidence results in what changes in the elevation and slope of streams canals and drains it can cause damage to bridges roads railroads storm drains sanitary sewers canals and levees it can damage buildings as a result of sinking of the ground beneath, subsequently causing their foundations to collapse and sink to, which I have discussed in my previous lecture on Joshimat with the help of an image of a temple building differentially tilting and settling down in the ground. It may also result in buildings excessively settling, maybe differentially or tilting as its support structure and stability is weakened. This case example I have already discussed with you all in my previous lecture of Joshimat in which I had depicted your photograph of one building differentially tilting and leaning towards another standing building. This all can result in making the structures uninhabitable that is they are not now prone to habitation you have to vacate your houses and uh, habitats and move to somewhere other some other places severe subsidence can eventually lead to structural instability and collapse as has been the case in 
जोशी मत टाउन नाउ कैन सब्सिडेंस बी रेक्टिफाइड इट्स अ वेरी बिग क्वेश्चन डीलिंग विद सब्सिडेंस अफेक्टिंग योर होम इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली नेवर इजी देयर इज अ प्रोसेस दैट यू नीड टू फॉलो which starts with spotting the first signs and getting a firm diagnosis of subsidence before you can move on to carrying out works to fix the problem and clearing up afterwards that is aapko sabse pehle ye dekhna padega ki aapka subsidence mild hai medium hai ya worst scenario mein chala gaya hai aggravate ho chuka hai phir kya itna aasan kisi ke liye nahi hota hai apna ghar chhod ke jana to अगर माइल्ड है या कंट्रोलेबल है तो हम उसकी रेमेडीज ढूंढ सकते हैं और सीस्मिक रेट्रोफिटिंग भी कर सकते हैं एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा बट इट्स रियली अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क टू गेट योर सब्सिडेंस फेलियर रेक्टिफाइड इट्स नॉट सो इजी इट इज नॉट एन इट इज नॉट एट ऑल एन इजी टास्क टू डू इज ग्राउंड मूवमेंट द सेम एज सब्सिडेंस सब्सिडेंस इज जस्ट वन ऑफ द टाइप्स of ground movement beneath a property but there are others including settlement heave and land slip as well now at last what is the difference between settlement and subsidence settlement often appears in new buildings and is a common site as the ground adjusts to the support to support the weight of the new structure whereas subsidence is the downward movement of the ground beneath a house where the supporting soil moves away from the building and makes it unstable so dear friends this is what i wish to inform you all in this lecture of mine keep on sharing and subscribing to my youtube channel geotechnical engineering concerns tips thank you thank you very much